Hello, grade eight students. It's nice to see you. Welcome to Music Eight, Quarter One, Lesson Two. Our lesson for this week is about the instrumental music of Indonesia, the gamelan ensemble. Let me show you a picture of the Sundanese gamelan digung that is being played in the Museo Nacional de la School Tours Mexico Indraswara Group. This group of instruments are played together as a gamelan ensemble performance. Gamelan is part of the Indonesian culture in their music. What is Indonesian gamelan ensemble? Gamelan is the traditional instrumental ensemble of Indonesia. It is also called as the gamelan orchestra. It is made up mostly percussion instruments. It has two main styles: the Balinese, from Bali, Indonesia, and the Javanese, from Java, Indonesia. Gamelan orchestras are used to accompany dances, songs, and even for the wayang kulit, a traditional form of puppet shadow play in Indonesia. Gamelan is believed to be originated even before their Hindu Buddhist culture in Indonesia, and it is believed to be a native art form. Javanese gamelan is used as court music for the royals, while Balinese gamelan retained the raw energy and fast rhythmic pacing as music to be performed outdoors for festive occasions. Now, let us learn about the instruments of gamelan. The gamelan is mostly made up of a variety of gongs, drums, and metallophones. Some of these instruments are described as follows. The first instrument to discuss is the bonong. It is a collection of small gongs, sometimes called kettles or pots. It is placed horizontally onto strings in a wooden frame or rankake. It usually plays the melody in gamelan music. Next instrument of gamelan is the gender. It consists of 10 to 14 tuned metal bars suspended over a tuned resonator of bamboo or metal. Because the instrument has a strong sustain, the sound must be dampened with the wrists after striking the next note. Next is saran. Normally it has seven bronze bars placed on top of the resonating frame. It has three types, the demung, or largest and lowest, the barang, or smaller in an octave higher than demung, and the faking, or small in an octave higher than barang. Another instrument of gamelan is the kenong. It has six bronze pots suspended on three separate teak wood frames. It is usually played with one mallet, but can be played with two, if the music is very fast. Next is the gong suwuk. These are large gongs with definite pitch. It consists of two instruments. First the gong again. It is the largest gong in gamelan and usually used when ending the most pieces. And second is the kempul. It is a set of pitched, hanging, knob gongs. It is often made of bronze, wood, and cords. Another instrument of gamelan ensemble is the Kendong. It is a double-headed barrel drum in gamelan. It signals the tempo, style, and starting and finishing points to the rest of the orchestra. And the last instrument of gamelan ensemble is the Seng Seng. It is the most important instrument in a set of Balinese gamelan. It is made from copper and jackfruit wood. This copper creates crashing and shimmering sound. The gamelan instruments are considered sacred. That is why stepping over these instruments are considered to be rude and disrespectful. Meanwhile, to give more vibrancy in the gamelan performance, vocal music is added into it. This serves as a special ornamentation in the music. And that is all for the first quarter lesson 2 of Music 8. The Instrumental Music of Indonesia. The Gamelan Ensemble. I hope you really understand our lesson.
We'll see you again in our next topic. Thank you and keep learning. Goodbye.